I start by turning my roaster oven up to its maximum setting and placing the controller's temperature probe into the water held on by an old hard drive magnet on a clothespin. This cooking method doesn't work very well with whole turkeys, so I had to break the turkey down into its individual parts. Having the turkey broken down will also allow me to cook the dark meat at a different temperature than the white meat, giving me better results. Next, I seasoned the turkey top and bottom. I took advantage of the fact that I am cooking the various parts in their own sealed bags to play around a bit with spices. Normally you would put the item that is being cooked in a bag that has been vacuum sealed, but I found that putting them in a Ziploc bag and pressing out the air gives good results since any remaining air bubbles usually migrate to the top of the bag. Knock it up a notch with a blast from your spice weasel. I tried adding some liquid smoke to this piece to see if I could get it to taste like it had been slow smoked. I added some rosemary that I had picked up from the neighbor's yard when they did yard work. I washed it off, put it in the salad spinner to get most of the water off. I then let it dry on a sheet pan for a couple of days before bagging and freezing it for later use. My usual method of pressing out all the air didn't work very well in this case. So I used the water displacement method of just leaving the top of the bag open and lowering the bag into the water. The pressure of the water will force out most of the air. This wa water was already up to temperature. The temperature is low enough that you can dip your hands in it without instantly burning them. Once all the meat was in, I hooked up a water pump and put the inlet and outlet on the opposite sides of the roaster oven. This will slowly stir the pot and cut down on hot and cold spots. This probably isn't totally necessary since there will be some natural convection, but it couldn't hurt. I used another magnet and clothespin to make sure that the outlet would stay in the pot. made sure the inlet wouldn't touch the bag and get clogged. I used some glass cups to weigh down the turkey legs because they kept floating. Once the roaster oven is up to temperature, the controller will pulse the power on and off very quickly to keep the temperature as close to what is set as possible. In this case, I'm cooking the turkey at 140 degrees for about 5 hours. The nice thing about this method is that the maximum time is much less important than the minimum time, so I usually let the cooking go long. The end result is the most moist, juicy turkey I've ever had. The pieces seasoned with liquid smoke were a family favorite.